this is what the car currently looks like. I'm just going to leave it like this. This thing is beautiful. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I replaced the CV that I broke. So there's a second hand CV in here now. And just for peace of mind, I don't want to be taking chances on a CV that I don't know. So we'll just fit a a new one for now so there's a bit of a hold up on the brake situation it's not as simple as we initially thought so it's gonna take a little bit of time right now I want to race so I don't I don't care too much about getting it done or waiting until after it's done nah, I'm just gonna place a CB get back to racing and then we'll go to a bag meet in this video as well but that will be a bit later so now let's go to the workshop with the CV I want to go through the process and I need to know how to do it because this racing and CV stuff they go hand in hand so I need to know how to do this myself so yeah I usually avoid CVs just because of how messy it is but I don't think I can avoid it any longer okay so I am at the workshop we are going to replace this passenger CV that's the one that went should be fairly easy I'll have Kamil do it and take me through the process and then I'll keep the CV that comes out here now as a spare so I'll keep that in the boot so that will be like my my dummy CV if something does break again and this is my my brake bits yeah apparently it's the ball joint is not going to sit as it should. I know Rudy told me that it's not as simple. I was like, nah, everyone does it. But uh, yeah, I guess it's not that simple. Okay, so CV replaced and probably looking rather dark. I'm just gonna leave like the ride right eye like this. Um, it looks, the car looks really weird on these wheels. If I raise it up in the back, it just looks really stupid. I think it's the width of the wheel and it just doesn't look right so anyway that's that's the setup i just found out that the dyno computer is broken i don't know maybe we can put the car on the dyno without actually getting power i don't really care too much about power just want to make sure that the timing and stuff is okay on it so i don't know hopefully andrew comes through we can do something but if not i will do testing at the track at kilani on wednesday so this is what the gts looks like dad's here to do some pre-race checks so he keeps getting like a water leak because of the intake on the car it keeps touching the the, the intake keeps touching the water hose so it's just going to fix that quickly and there was another thing that we did but anyway that is that is now sorted so it should be good to go Just did some coilover height adjustment. Flip this car looks so high now. <laughs> um, but it was a little too low. It was touching the front arch. And I just raised up the rear so that it's got a bit of a rake to it. So it doesn't look like, like it's sitting low in the rear. You don't want it to be squatting too much. And because it's the car it races, so you want a, a little bit of a of a rake to it. So yeah, that's that's looking. Doesn't look as good, but it's on the money for for what's needed. So this is what the car currently looks like. I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, yeah, it looks okay. And I'll give it a quick wash before the meet tomorrow. Just saves me from waking up early and going to the car wash. I'll just give it a quick wash. And then we'll go to the bag meet. I'm currently on my way to Jared. So I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, there was a blue Mark II two door with a VR6 swap at J2 not too long ago. So Jared owns that car, and I asked him if I could drive it <laughs> because I haven't driven a VR6 yet. Yeah, um, it's like as a as a vw guy you you have to drive a vr6 like they are not fast but they just sound incredible so 
I was in the car, a, uh, a colleague of mine was driving it, and it was just glorious. I, I knew I, I had to drive it. So the plan was actually to go to Jared before the VAG meet and drive through together with him driving my car and me driving his. That was, that's how I saw it in my mind. But unfortunately, he got ill. So he is down with the flu and won't be coming to the meet today. But I was too excited and he let me drive it anyway. So I'm on my way to his place now. And I'll just drive it around like the area. Uh, it's not going to be like a review or anything. It's just literally just to be like, I've driven a VR6 and I'm probably going to want one. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into that. came to put fuel in thought it might be a good move car was just above empty and it's a VR6 so can't be taking joy rides without putting in fuel okay so the car should be up to temp by now I've driven it for a few minutes like out of his place I haven't given it the the full Vura yet I've kind of just been taking it easy I want my first experience to be recorded oh my word cylinder clock with a six cylinder engine so it's it's not happy it needs some calibration I don't know if it can be calibrated but uh, ignore that oh my word it's that initial like as you just get into it that sound is glorious Oh my goodness. <laughs> like it it fades like the the sound isn't as intense as you building up through the devs but just that low down yeah that low down grunt is is amazing. Oh my word, that's it. That's how you drive a VO6. That's all, like, that's all you need. Ah, oh, there's it. but as soon as you get here it's such a smooth engine like very smooth 
it as you start to like get onto it. Like on top, it, it feels okay. Like nothing to really write home about. This one has cams in it, so I can't imagine how donkey a stock VR6 must feel on top. But it's it's a it's a lowdown that you that you want that. That's what you want. I don't even know what RPM. I would say like three thousand to four thousand is sort of the way you would do your thing. but it feels it doesn't feel like super strong like I thought it would feel a lot more aggressive than mine but it doesn't which is weird like my car feels a little more eager to stop strange Maybe it's the extra weight of the engine over I, I don't know I can't I can't make sense of it but I feel like it should want to stop a little bit oh my word so I just wanted to come around here for some pictures because this is quite a nice spot having like the ocean right here Quite busy. Oh, there's a nice Mercedes coming past. <laughs> I don't know if I can get any decent photos, yeah. show you guys what the engine looks like so that's that's the goods so guys at J2 did a good job I know Jared wants to sort out a couple more things just you know neaten it I like these these shocks they're quite nice but yeah that's that's the bay you actually get a picture of it So just a quick walk around hopefully the audio is okay I generally don't do this with the exposed mic but hopefully you guys can bear with me this thing is beautiful a two-door mark two is yeah I, I need I need that in my life I think what would finish this car for me is just turbocharging it. That would be brilliant. Okay, that's that's enough parking. Let's get back to driving. So it's got a VR6 cable shift box in it with an LSD. And I don't think I'll be testing it. I don't know how I feel about launching his car. Um, but I I believe him. I think they tested it at J2. We did a a wheel spin in the in the workshop, not in the workshop area, but like at the workshop, which was quite funny.
Asia, Uta works, it, it's, yeah, I can't fault it, it drives really nicely, the power steering doesn't feel, it doesn't feel super light when you're driving it, which is nice, like it doesn't feel, you know, like some power seatings can just become super light um, when you're driving it, but this one has a nice weight to it, because I'm considering going power steering, and I think just the main advantage is when you're moving slowly just you are able to maneuver the car a little easier I kind of have to put a lot of weight into it especially with the the wheels and tires that I run like if you run a wider tire it does get quite heavy to keep pulling like I don't get to the top of the dev range and I'm like okay I can feel I need to shift now like my car feels when I'm on on pump fuel with a lack of timing on top I can feel ah oh, I need to shift now with this one it's like as you're climbing it just wants to keep going it's like cool can we just add a little more RPM <laughs> it feels great that sound that low down just that sound and then the spool and the power on top that's really what it wants the down just Newtons, so this one with cams 
I don't know what else is done to it. Maybe it's around 130-ish, I would assume. It's definitely no race car. My car, low boost, would just walk it. But that's not why you get AV06. You get it for this. Yep, you get it for that. And that. I don't know why I expected like a like a deeper intake induction sound from it. Like you know when you drive a car with a cold filter and you just like just wide open throttle it and it just gives that that grunt. For some reason this car does not do that. I mean it's got the cone filter. So like it's there but it's not like if you know what I'm saying like it's there but it's not as there as I thought it would be we have six people in the comments are probably like yeah, you don't know anything about VO6s. I don't. I, I genuinely don't. I have not thought much of these engines for the longest time until I considered boosting one. Then I was like, okay, cool, they're cool. But, like, they make a good noise, but I was always like, it's just slow. And that's why I went 16 valve. Because they also slow, but, but you can modify them more. You can just do a lot more to them. And they're still quite light and they'll retain the Mark II's, as I would say, nimble characteristics. Whereas the VH6 is just like a boat anchor in front. But when you're driving it like this, I mean, it feels... It doesn't feel heavy. Like, it feels solid, I would say but not heavy. Maybe that has something to do with the uh, power steering. I do apologize, this video is probably going to be really long. So I've been driving for a while. Apparently it's got short ratios in this box. Um, I think I can feel it. I feel like a, a VR has quite a long final. So, like the way this thing goes through the gears, it is, it is quick. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Maybe it is. I guess in a you want 
response you want the car to be like in the power band all the time but it's also it's not an ace car you know what I mean rubber band but it doesn't have a lot of tire so I think this is going to be my last pull for you guys I didn't really get into like details of the car and like what exhaust it's got and like this and that I will try and add all of that in the description so if you really want to know you can head down to the description and check that out I really enjoyed driving it it feels really refined compared to my car it would be nice to drive them back to back like get in that one after driving mine just to feel like the differences but now I'm in the wagon and it's the difference is back to back but anyway I'll drive it later and it's definitely gonna feel a little more rougher down the edges my car's got a one or two rattles <laughs> it's a bit extra and but yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed that let's let's head out to the bag meet and see what's happening hopefully it's a good turnout I'm on my way to the meet now. It is just below Table Mountain, the parking lot like dips down. 
will be over there. A lot of guys have bailed and I assume it's going to be really cold over there. But the warm weather will be here soon. I get this wrong. So turnout is not as we thought it would be but I'll just show you guys the cars that have come through. This is the usuals. Matt Fox. One is Mark 4. Lions Jet, Mars Bars with the A5. <laughs> I actually cleaned my bay because I knew that someone would ask me to open up. So it's uh, looking clean in here I really need to do something about this it's starting to like the paint is starting to lift on it looking a bit crappy I said I was going to get to it but that's one of those things yeah. Sheesh. so if I had pulled up with the uh, with the beetle, this thing looks, it just looks so good. I don't know if I, I don't think I saw it bagged. I think this is, this is new to, to me. Yeah, that looks flipping cool. A few more cars pulled up. So the meat was, whoa, buddy, the meat was good, a few more guys pulled through so it wasn't as badly attended, but yeah, it's, it's winter so that's how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it's not too long, but yeah, that'd be all six, I'm still thinking about it. Thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.